Alright guys, this is another video kind of related to the camper. Um, one of the issues is like I don't always want to have it on this truck or have to load it on this truck. I'd like to be able to just uh, drive the Cherokee, you know, one of the Cherokees and take the camper with me. So I have that uh, trailer out back, which we'll go out and look at it, but I want to just show you because it's a short bed. Uh, bed on that trailer. Um, uh, I haven't completely loaded that thing down, but what I want to do is I uh, the tongue isn't long enough to clear this. And I can get a hitch extender and I can do all that stuff, um, but the pivot point is still going to be close enough to the vehicle that um, I think I'll hit you know one of the corners on this so what I plan on doing is just making an extendable tongue for the trailer uh, that'll actually be uh, from like this area because like part of that frame on that trailer comes out to here goes out and probably ends about here well I'm gonna extend it out and it's pretty much gonna go to the to this long it's gonna be like eight feet uh, long and so like uh, I want to add more weight forward of the rear axle so I don't get a lot of whipping and stuff because it sticks off the back quite a bit. So I'm going to take my truck box and I plan on mounting it. Uh, mount the spare. And then mount some uh, spots for uh, my jerry cans or fuel cans, uh, water jugs, you know. So, put this on there. I don't know what I'll load it with. Uh, you know, I have no clue. Maybe I'll make it so I can put one, something like that on the front. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll figure it out. Uh, Actually, yeah, that gives me that's be a good idea because then I could just load. Also, there's that other sink though. But let's go out back and look at that trailer real quick. Dogs are gonna jump all over me. It's gonna be awesome. Ah, jeez, got a mess going still. <sighs> I want to take that camper out this weekend. Get, get, nope, get, Stop. jumping up, jeez, no manners, you dogs have no manners, bad manners anyway, get down, stop, stop it, I said, get down, I am going to spank you, get down, so here it is, get down, damn it. Stop. Let me check the time real quick because I do have to go to work. I got time. So, stop. Stop. So, stop. I'm going to beat you. Stop. 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 Get down, damn it. So, yeah, so there's the part of the frame that comes out. Stop. There's a piece that goes across. Oh, I never didn't even realize that. So, actually, get down. So if I make the extendable part. Jeez, baby. Stop. Damn. Cut this off. Make the extendable part. I thought I was going to be able to make it to where the piece could go all the way under the trailer, but since that's there, it might have issues. I might have to cut a piece, like notch it, run it through, all the way back like I had planned, and then weld it in here, which would be all right. <coughs> if I had a drawing, I'd show you. But it'll be like uh, at Harbor Freight, they sell them, they're 18 inches long, and if I take two of them and flip them around and weld them, butt weld them together, It'll be 36 inches, which I think is pretty close to this. 
um, this length, you know, from here to, to there. Uh, and have the big old long piece, which will have to be uh, six feet long, almost six and a half, six and three, so that'll be like nine feet. And I'll cut, I'll drill different holes so I can adjust it. Um, and have it come out, you know, come out way out here. You know. Which will be fine. Um, yeah, so I build the extender and it, the whole piece will just slide out. Pin it in a couple places probably. And then, uh, Drill holes, yeah, like holes through the the long piece of bar that'll go out. So I have to figure it out. I don't know why you're eating grass. You eat food like all the time. But I want to be able to just load it up on this thing and leave it. Get rid, of, get this thing off of here, and probably get rid of it. Probably do like the guy did. Get some Lexan, a couple layers put it up in here and then uh, I wanted to still build like the whole frame that I had planned to build underneath this thing so then like maybe it'll increase the value you get like a couple hundred bucks for it as a pro project I have to take that dirt bike mount out though which will be fine this uh, probably put the tailgate back on it Get it wired up, stupid dogs, and chewed up the wiring again. You did it. You did it. I know. You got a guilty look on your face. You too. You're... Damn dogs. But yeah. So I don't know. If I had all the parts, I'd show you. But like, grind all this off. Cut it to where the piece will pass through. Make sure it's all straight. Like I said, notch out that piece pass it through. I might not let not bring it all the way back, let it stick out here just a little bit farther. And then just have the piece it'll run up underneath and just go up under there as far back as it can stop. Gosh damn. You're gonna get beat if you don't no, I don't want to touch you. I don't want you nope, I'm not paying attention to you fix the wiring again for the hundredth time change the jack you are evil dog you are evil no more ticks on you get out of the way dog get get out of the way god damn they had ticks on them not too long ago and I guess that really doesn't make any sense so I'll have to tear this all off I think I want to I need to find a place to mount this, which will probably make something temporary to mount it up here, vertical, and then uh, put the truck box. And I think on the back side of it, I could have a couple places for some of them fuel tanks, fuel cans, and then figure something else out. I don't know what, but oh, I'll have to get the stuff and I'll show you. But an extendable tongue. You look it up on Google if you can, uh, or if you would, and then you'll kind of see what idea I have. <clears throat> and then maybe some water jugs, whatever else I need. I'll need to get another jack. And I need to get some trailer jacks that I can, you know, put up underneath here. Probably weld a tab so that, uh, maybe not a tab, but like a short piece of pipe that the little jack can go up into those aluminum adjustable ones on front and rear so then I can get it more stable so I can take the Cherokee when I want to go somewhere and be able to take more passengers and actually have a vehicle to drive because the camper is nice but So yeah, that's one of the plans, I guess. 
And then real quick, I guess I'll show you my little shower setup that I had when I did my that mud run that I don't know if I mentioned that. But I those blue jugs, just one like that one. I had one. Well, I have two of them anyway. Uh, I went and it kind of sucks because I jacked up my thumbnail. Then anyway, uh, right here. So put this, filled this thing up early in the morning with really hot water. Put the top on. I had this. This is for actually for the water heater. I need to find one that has a big enough opening like this does. This is a big opening. A lot of the other faucets are, they kind of neck down here like a lot. Uh, you have to use a screwdriver, which is kind of fine because that's why I have. This is some extra hose, no no kink stuff that I have, and uh, I had it like laying down on this side. I'll just put it right here, but up on the rack, and it was pain in the butt to get it up there. Uh, had this thing a little more adjusted, uh, like that. The heat's causing this these hoses to like um, kink and stuff inside, so I'll have to work that out. This is from a solar shower. This is from the leftover, like the old. Uh, hoses for the washing machine that I replaced. Um, did it at this angle so I could have it away enough for the vehicle. And then turn it on. So it worked out good because by the time we got done with that run... Uh, excuse me. Sorry you're looking at that. Oh, there's that thing. Um, it was just right. And I had... So I had it up here face down had the door open and then I put this thing which uh, I broke it on the ground to keep me up off the dirt and I just stood on it showered so actually I think I'm gonna get something else like this uh, Plano Plano whatever the breed or the not the breed the uh, company that makes like ammo boxes and other junk it makes a shelf that actually all these slats go all the way through so that it's more sturdy. Think about buying one of those and throwing them up in one of these vehicles or when I have that shower. And I can shower like that. So probably what I'll do is uh, when I put on that put this on the trailer maybe I'll put a uh, like kind of a shelf that'll go up so high that I can store extra stuff that'll come off and I can put my water jugs up on there and I can still have them high enough to be able to, to shower if needed. So we'll see. I'll, maybe I'll drop, I'll drop some plans and show it to you. You can tell me what you think. Uh, maybe I'll just start and not use this video and I'll start a project and just show you because I need to start doing that now because we're going to be going out Fourth of July, and that's coming up. It's the seventh of June. So yeah. So let me know what you think, and uh, hopefully we'll bring you along as I do it. I'm going to be pulling that thing around here, probably this week, parking it right here, uh, starting to work on it. So. Actually, I'll probably put it over here, move this to there, move some stuff around, the Jeeps around. But anyway, there you go. Take care now.